hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with the rising of the shield hero season 2 episode number 3 okay the previous episode um we got to meet a new character uh, her name is i think Ostorai or something like that and um she is one of the familiars of the spirit tortoise and uh, she talks about uh how like you know what the spirit tortoise actually is uh, what it is goals all that stuff now which, like, there's like a few interesting things that we got to know first of all the spirit tortoise actually tries to stop the waves and to do that the, the spirit tortoise needs a lot of souls that's why the first thing that he does is uh let the familiar that is also i go and you know like become like a concubine or like you know like a person like that and uh, she kind of leads like you know to like you know wars happening between different kingdoms where a lot of people die the souls are then collected by the spirit tortoise which it uses to try to stop the waves if the heroes are unsuccessful um if that doesn't work it actually releases uh, its other familiars who just kills people if that as doesn't work as well it, the seal that is like you know holding the spirit tortoise uh, in gets broken and the spirit tortoise itself destroys places and gathers the souls so basically what's happening is the third like you know the third uh, step is happening now the spirit tortoise has opened like you know the seal has been opened it is destroying places but this is not due to like you know like uh, due to its own violation someone opened a seal and it made it's controlling the spirit orders or something is happening like that we saw a little glimpse of that person um and that's why this is happening that's why Osthorai is like yeah i'm going to tell you guys like you know like like you know ask you guys to stop the tortoise because if we don't stop the tortoise like you know like the whole world will get destroyed and you know like there wouldn't be any people left and that defeats the whole purpose of this so we got to know all of this we also also kind of saw a lot of the other kingdoms them kind of they cannot just getting into arguments with each other and often was sick and tired of it and he leaves for a second but then later on like kind of kind of cooperates with them and they also are cooperating with us now and you know we have like a plan we have a plan made like in all the different places are helping us out as well and uh, yeah Oshorai is working with us helping us out and uh, let's see what happens after that like you know uh yeah and oh we got some new uh, weapons and some new uh gear as well <laughs> so like a little little upgrade we got so yeah let's see what this episode brings this is episode number three of the rising of the shield hero season two so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time you're here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go All right, here we are. Oh, look at this. <laughs> All right. So it has woken up from a snap and yeah hmm okay the tortoise can all right then Um, hmm. All right, then taking land. Okay. 
Oh, this girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, Claire is here. Mm. Yeah, this is a shield hero. He can take a beating, you know. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Look at it. This. What is that? Okay. All right, let's see what they are able to do. Oh, these these guys are also here. Uh, the one who helped us in the waves. Yeah, there you go. Oh, damn, look at this armor. <laughs> what? Oh, this is, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wow, his reputation has come a long way. <laughs> but these are the people who helped us out in uh, during the waves. So yeah. Ah, look at Philo. <laughs> hmm. Well, he's a literal hero. So. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, the rat, the rat shield. No. Oh, I thought. Great. <laughs> she will. Oh boy, this this is a foggy like. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this guy. This guy is the one who's controlling the tortoise. I'm curious as to how they're going to stop this thing. Like, this tortoise is huge. Like, how do you even stop a thing that size? All right. Oh, oh, well, these guys are fast. Filo runs very fast, and they're keeping up. All right. Oh, okay. Aggro makes sense. There you go. Yeah, you gather them in one place and burn them. <laughs> ah, like a moth to a flame. 
All right. Damn. Like, look at Nafum we're doing all of this. And where are the other three? Where are the other three heroes? What are they doing? Okay, here it is. <laughs> Yo, this thing is. All right. My God, that's huge. Oh, it has rocks on his. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. Okay. <laughs> Don't say that. Give him a... What? Gravity? Okay. This will help. Yeah. Alright, time to sweep all of them out of the river. Oh, uh, a few monsters can... It's taking a lot of our, out of her. Yeah, let's just stab, stab, stab. <laughs> a flamethrower would work here very well, you know? <laughs> just. <laughs> My God. Oh, okay. Kind of working. I, uh, never mind. Probably like a bug's bite to it. But it's just, for the tortoise, it's just like a mosquito bit him or something, I feel like. <laughs> Alright. Whoa! Damn, that's a cool... Oh, <laughs> this lady is just... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it's not stopped. Well. Yeah. Okay. That's a thick leg. Whoa. Okay, okay, it's working. All right. All right. Okay, nice. Ah, fifty percent. My God, and we're only we have only been able to kind of injure one leg. Oh. That was bombs that stopped the thing. Okay. Ah, oh, my God. Ah. Oh. Okay.
All right, it has toppled down, but will it be that easy? I don't know. Hmm. Two students. Oh, uh, Raftali and. Uh... What? Record. What? What is happening? Oh my god, what now? Oh no, what is that? Long range, great! A tortoise with a long range attack! What the hell is that? Yo! Are those missiles? Those are like missiles! They are like missiles! Oh my god! This is like, okay. Wow. Oh God! Controlling it. What? Oh my god. Like, I don't know, I feel like we should have tried to target the person who was, who is controlling it. Okay, those holes. Huh. Hmm. Thorns, yeah. Well, I, I'm sure he has a plan. Yeah. Like, as, as like Claire said, like, it's not trying to attack beside it, otherwise it him itself will get hurt. Okay. Like, is the one who's controlling the tortoise here with him? I don't know. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, it's dead, that guy. Oh. oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> hmm.
Yeah, that's true. Oh god, what now? <laughs> okay, what the? What? We taught us familiar 56 level uh, parasite. Oh, she's. All right, all right, come on, defeated them within this time. Wait. Oh. All right, let's go. Oh my god! Wow, she can even defend. Oh. Okay, oh! Oh, that's judgment, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it sucks up the mana as he was, he was saying. Okay, that's, yeah, that's working, but... But it's a scratch, ah! Uh. All right, here we go. Okay, so we attack that in, okay. Oh, it's trying to run? Oh! Buffing him, okay. Oh, it's getting bigger! All right. Whoa. Okay, it's working. We are. Oh my God. All right, you know what? I really was not expecting them actually being successful and Cutting off the head. I thought they were going to go for the person who's controlling it. After they realized that it's impossible to defeat this thing. Damn, I really was not expecting them being success successful in cutting off the head of this huge thing. Wow, okay. Oh. Wait, so is that it? Now, Ors will cease to exist, I'm guessing? What about the guy who was controlling it? Okay, she's still here. Wait, what? How is she still here? Wait, oh my god. It's still not over. Uh... 
Okay, what? Like what? We will have to... <laughs> what else? What else do you want to do? Cut off its head? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Like I was thinking like... Like this is ending in a weird, really weird way. Like the guy who was controlling it, we don't even know who he is. We didn't even meet him. So that and like you know is it that easy to defeat this huge thing and there you go well <laughs> yeah still something left All right, that's it. Yep, that is it. All right, so this episode, um, nothing was to discuss here because it was mainly them attacking the spirit tortoise and, you know, like defeating it. Like it seemed like we defeated it, but it was actually not. You know, there's still something left. Like, all right. So, <laughs> okay, so this episode here. First, we begin with. Pay tortoise getting up from its afternoon nap <laughs> like started walking again destroying places and okay the interesting thing about the spirit tortoise is that it has a huge mountain on its back so like yeah like it's so i'm guessing it's kind of like whenever it sleeps or whatever it looks like a mountain, but you realize if you go close to it that it's actually a tortoise, something like that. Like the mountain on top of it, kind of, I guess, like it's like a camouflage, you could say, but <laughs> yeah. All right, anyways, enough about the tortoise. Okay, so we see that uh, these people are getting ready to attack the tortoise, and uh, uh, Na Naofumi and you know the crew. Like, Naofumu took a few of them with him, which is like our usual crew members, uh, Raptalia, Hilo, uh, and uh, uh, Rishia. Well, where Rishia is actually like a new addition, you could say, in their crew. Other than those three, uh, we have two more new members with us. I guess it, they're probably temporary members. I doubt they're going to join us. Uh, the, the first one is Osthorai. The second one is the old lady. <laughs> I was not expecting her to be on in our team, but she's pretty damn strong. So yeah, I guess like I, I feel like she's like one of the strongest in this uh, show currently, isn't she? Like yeah, like who would have thought like that one lady we saved <laughs> in season one, <laughs> you know, who was almost dying. You know, that person would be like the master of, like, you know, the, the teacher of uh, Raftalia and Rishia, like, <laughs> and she's like one of the strongest, <laughs> like, wow. Okay. Um, all right. So then we, uh, oh, uh, a new character, we kind of get to see her. I don't think we ever saw her face before. This time we actually get a good glimpse of the face underneath her helmet uh the girl who is like one of the shadows i think that's what they call them her um the one who always kind of talks in a weird way she kind of you kind of says gojaru and like I, I feel like like this like you know like uh this is like a like, i think ninja talk like this way isn't it i think so like i think ninjas use these type of way of talking let me see they gojaru Uh, okay. 
yeah yeah like i guess this is like a way of talking uh like dekozaru like this <laughs> so and he she actually doesn't say it like that she says it in a weird way she <laughs> I I always find the way she says Gozaru funny. She says Gojaru. <laughs> I don't know why but that always cracks me up. <laughs> the way she says that in a weird way. But yeah, we we, we can actually see uh, you know who she is now. Um like up until this time we always like never got to see her face before like it was either cut off from here like we never got to see. You know it reminded me of those cartoons that we used to see you know like uh, in our childhood. where there's like always one character whose face we never got to see <laughs> it was always cut off <laughs> in season 1 we also never got to see her face but here i like you know this time i think this is the first time we actually see who she is and even though she's wearing a helmet we can actually get to see her face now and <clears throat> she is the one of the shadows uh and uh, now from is like wait aren't you supposed to be with uh melty Yeah and sh- she's like now nah, for now uh like you know like I've been asked to accompany you people and all right uh, then we get to see a Claire a Claire being ready like you know ready to like lead the troops into the battle and now for me like you know kind of gets a flag which now here's one thing that uh like you know like I've seen uh, and it's I know that it's pretty effective like you know like a flag is always effective to boost the morale morale of the soldiers now one thing I always kind of like you know like obviously before like in a long time ago uh when I was like I was kind of new to these type of like you know like these type of like military like you know like uh, anime kind of things or not like obviously this is not military but i'm i'm saying like you know this whole army and everything and i also like you know like was uh like in strategy games these also were like you know a thing uh, you know like kind of boosting morale and i always thought like you know it always kind of i kind of thought like how does boosting morale help you know like the army but now i understand like you know like after watching so many animes and everything like and i understand like morale is like one of the most important things in like you know in an army and like just like how important it's to keep them fed like you know food is another thing that's very important and i think after food comes morale and you know like if like whenever there's like a leader who you look up to like you know with a flag in front of you boosting your morale that helps out a lot and that can completely change the outcome of a battle and like you know like now for me taking a flag here uh like you know it was like you know it was it, it showed us like you know as soon as the cat like in you know, all the uh, soldiers saw now for me with the flag just you know like fluttering around and the shield hero like riding in front of them they were kind of depressed and everything kind of concerned and as soon as they saw him they're like oh the shield hero like yes and like you know they're like they're like boosted up with morale and everything and yeah they can fight a battle now and that helped a lot so and eclair himself was also saying that like you know it's impressive to see how he's able to boost the morale of so many people just by waving a flag and coming in front of them and uh, yeah here we go So then it's like you know then we see the army and an army's carriage going at the same pace like you know together and when we go to the oh and on the other carriage like you know all the other army like you know the people from the different kingdoms they are getting ready with the siege weapons this and that getting the weapons ready and the tortoise is coming following eclair's group and now for me sees the minions the bat minions there uses hate reaction uh, which is basically an aggro like you know skill and lures them to us like you know them so that they don't get in the way of eclair and her troops and eclair and her troops tries to lure out the spirit tortoise to the designated location where the siege weapons will start firing and uh, all right everything was going pretty well and as the spirit tortoise came in position they started shooting uh while nafumi and uh, his team had to stop to attack the minions that are following him and uh, not minions sorry um familiars that are following them, them. 
And uh, all right, everyone gets ready. Here we get to see Osthorai's power. He uses gravity, which is kind of impressive. You know, like, especially in these type of situation, like she can just immobilize a lot of these things. Uh, most of the bats like, immediately went down. And like, we could see that Ost is like, you know, what can I say? Like, expending a lot of energy or whatever, you know, like she, she seemed very pained when she was using the uh, attack. Now, which I feel like this might be because of another reason that she herself is a familiar and she's using her powers to attack the same familiars that comes from the spirit tortoise. So I feel like it's, it's like, I feel like that's also probably another reason why she was that pained. Because it's, it's obviously like, you know, one reason must be that she's using so much energy or so much power. But at the same time, I feel like there's another reason that is since she's attacking the same familiars, you know, the, uh, the familiars which came from the tortoise, where she also is like comes from. She's also one of the familiars. Maybe that's also another reason why she was that pained at that moment. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think maybe that's also another thing. All right, so yeah, that happens, and uh, all the others are trying to get the tortoise, trying to injure the tortoise, but yeah, the tortoise is too big, unfortunately. Like, it's just not working that much as we thought it would. Uh, a few new attacks we got to see here, I guess. Uh, Raptalia's yin yang blade. I don't think we ever saw that before, did we? Or not in this elaborate manner, where basically we see like. Uh, Raftalia kind of using the blade and like you know like two like, you know, it kind of gets divided into the slash yin and the yang and it destroys the different familiars and uh, the old lady she uses crescent moon what is her name uh, you know what I think I need to start remembering her name uh let me check like i i feel like she's like one of the main characters yeah and i should know her name i think okay is this the lady yeah here we go El, 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 what? Oh my god, what's that? El Rasla. El Rasla Grillaro. Oh my god, I doubt I'll be able to remember this name. <laughs> I'll call, uh, you know what? I'll call her Granny if I forget her name. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll remember this name. It's impossible. At least it's going to take time for me to remember. And like, it, it won't happen in one day. Grill. Grilla Rock. All right. Anyways, El Rasla. So she uses uh, Higan Muso te secret technique, Crescent Moon, which is damn impressive. Like, yeah, she's. I don't know. I feel like she's probably stronger than the other three heroes. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if she actually ends up being stronger than them. Um. But yeah, and then uh, Firo uses the tornado, Drifa tornado. And you know, like everyone's attacking this and that. Um, while on the other side, the tortoise has been attacked. Nothing work is working out. Uh, the people who are firing at the tortoise, they say like at least we should take out one of its legs, <clears throat> and they do that. They all concentrate attacking in one of the legs. It works. I was not expecting it working actually, but like you know, if you think about it. Uh, like you know even though it's a like you know huge tortoise it's still made of flesh you know so obviously it will work i guess like so many attacks concentrated at the same place so one of its legs gives out and it, it topples down i think yeah and the person who was uh in um in charge of the explosives i think yeah uh that commander he unfortunately he dies by the end of it which is kind of sad um but yeah he does his last task and blows up the turtle and the turtle is kind of injured and uh, <clears throat> yeah so 
a lot of casualties happen 50 percent more than 50 percent after that so <clears throat> And uh, okay, now now for me and they. Okay, one weird thing happens here. Oh, I I think that was probably her remembering stuff. Like when um, Rishia brings out the book and she's like, oh look at this, and brings out the page of the tortoise, and we see the little thorns that the tortoise is going to use after this. You know, in like in a, in, a, in a, it was written in the book over there, and Rishia is like, look at this page, and. Ost looks at that and Ost is like like a headache starts like you know trouble like you know like getting to her and she starts remembering stuff and then she's like like oh guys I remember you should probably move from here because something's going to happen and yeah uh, we see as as Ost says whenever it's unable to take souls directly it basically changes to long range weapons and oh my god, like imagine a tortoise with a long range weapon. <laughs> it's like it's like thorns popping up and these thorns are actually detachable missiles. And they just like you know just kind of flies off and like you know attacks like certain portions and destroys that place. Basically rockets or missiles. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, like immediately a lot of people die then and there and um obviously now for me has his shield he can defend himself and the people behind him but unfortunately like any of the other people who didn't realize this was going to happen a lot of, of them died uh, like you know eclair was able to get away from that uh but yeah things are looking very bad so here we kind of see that the uh tortoise is not attacking close to it so basically what we're going to do is go close to the tortoise so that those uh, thorns does not hit us now here I am I'm kind of I was kind of thinking here like maybe the person who's controlling the tortoise is also here somewhere like it wouldn't surprise me because like I, I, I don't know I feel like controlling this huge thing you know from like a long distance is kind of impossible so I feel like maybe he needs to be beside the tortoise or at a close range to control it or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we'll see. But I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out that the person controlling the tortoise was somewhere near the tortoise. And we weren't able to realize that. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, so... Okay, so... The shield hero, uh, the Naofumi... They kind of thinks of a plan and she's like all right he's like all right follow me and takes a few people like starts charging towards the tortoise eclair also charges towards the tortoise and uh, like this information comes to the queen everyone's afraid but the queen is like all right i'm sure like you know nafumi has a plan just as nafumi said prepare the uh, like you know the magic the uh, that we're going to use uh, the multi what the multicaster ritual magic which later on we get to know is basically judgment that they're using <clears throat> and uh, yeah like oh my god and after this the scene here was uh, what can i say like it's kind of like you know hard to see like you know like all the different soldiers just dying one by one that one uh, guy we get got to know a little bit more personally you could say you know uh, from like you know, from that that guy who survived up, up till the end was bleeding and everything but still survived you know uh he was the only one who was able to survive that whole thing uh, other than that a lot of people died in that moment and uh, yeah now the magic now here's one thing uh is this the same lady like i i don't know like the, when, the, when we were seeing those different, there's so many people casting the magic, you know, like doing the incantation. There was one lady we saw who has like a, I feel like, like she, she has like a, maybe she's like a, what can I say? Uh, what do you call them? Demi-human or something, you know? Like because she has like a nose, which looks like a, a beast's nose. And her hat, I feel like underneath her hat, there's like ears or something. Uh, her hair is like a reddish brown color. She was in like you know, doing the incantation. 
No, 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 no. This is not the same lady. Like I was, I was saying, like, is this the same lady that we saw in season one? You know, the one who helped us out with the string. You know, like getting this st the string. Yeah, uh, or was it the string? I don't remember. But she helped us out. No, no, she's not the same person. That that was a different lady. So, I don't know why did they focus on her here. Like not only in that moment, like you know, at that moment, I felt it a little bit weird because they're focusing on her. And then after everything happens, you know, like in the end, again we like you know focus on her. Like you know, when the judgment has been casted, we again focus on her. Like I'll, I'll talk about that when that part, part portion comes. But yeah, um, all right, they're getting ready with the incantation now. Fumi and his crew are getting closer to the tortoise. And uh, all right, a spirit daughter's familiar pops up. Looks like a chimera, kind of like you know, has like a lion's body and a grasshopper's <laughs> like you know, thing, mantis. I think that's what you call them. And uh, Horai tries to stop it, you know. And Horai is like, "Oh, these familiars, I can handle them." You know, now for me, you you go ahead. And all the other soldiers are also like you know, tr attacking it, trying to defeat it. Nafumi takes Philo and uh, takes Raftalia, Risha, and uh, what's her name? Um, you know, there you go. I forgot her name. Ah, granny. I'll call her Granny. And <laughs> takes Granny with her as well. <laughs> um. <clears throat> all right. Judgment is casted. Uh, and. It's very effective, you know, it kind of does like a little, uh, kind of like it kind of cuts the throat a little bit, a huge chunk of the throat gets cut by the judgment. And that is what we use, like, you know, take advantage of later on. Um, Raftalia, Philo, now for me, first Raftalia and Philo goes in, they use their attacks to kind of go uh kind of deep into the wound and then now fumi uses his shield to kind of jam it into the wound again here post helps now for me to upgrade his shield and the shield gets bigger and it kind of gets more deeper into the wound and little by little like you know it's working then again philo and uh raftalia goes in uh risha kind of buffs them boosts their energy like you know like physical capabilities i think and we are able to cut off its head here's the thing i really was not expecting them being successful in cutting off the head of that huge thing you know what i thought was going to happen i thought they were going to try to fight it would realize that it's impossible to defeat this thing and then try to go for the person who is controlling um the, like you know the tortoise and we're going to defeat him and the tortoise is going to stop i was really surprised when i saw they were able to actually cut its head down and everyone's like you know rejoicing the head is cut everyone's happy and here again we get a little glimpse of like you know that that girl uh, we kind of uh, focus on the um the mage team kind of happy you know here Again, we get like you know that that girl, like you know, like her. We see her from the back, the brown, reddish brown hair with the cap, just standing there. I don't know. Like, and did we meet her before? Is is that why they're kind of focusing on her, or is this like character going to be important later on? Otherwise, I don't see any reason for them focusing and like you know, like focusing on her two times. First, when they were incanting the spell, and then later on, after they're celebrating, again, like a back shot of her. Either we've already met her and I'm not remembering, or she's going to be important in the future. Or maybe neither of those, I don't know. <laughs> but, anyways, um, yeah, everyone's happy, everyone's like, yay, we did it. And <laughs> Nafuma and Screw just looking at the sunset. Ah, <laughs> typical anime. It's just whenever something happens, you know, like good thing happens, we, we've defeated an enemy, just look at the sunset. 
<laughs> but unfortunately, it's not over yet. Everyone thought that, oh, like, you know, this is the end. Ost is gone. Risha is just crying. And <laughs> Ost is like, oh, here's, here's a tissue. Not tissue, sorry, napkin. You should probably wipe your face. And Risha's like, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, and then Nafun is like, wait a minute, you're here, that means, um, yeah, it's still alive, isn't it? And she's like, yep, looks like you haven't defeated the spirit tortoise yet. And here we go again. I don't know what else we're supposed to do to defeat this thing. We cut off its head, so I'm guessing we'll have to focus on the person controlling it now. Like, I, I was thinking, like, you know, this, this is too easy, like, this is ending too easily. Like, you know, we didn't even get to see who is controlling him properly, and we didn't even meet him. So, I was sure this was going to escalate into something different. But I was not expecting the tortoise to be alive, even after that. So here we go. I guess, yeah, we still have a mission left. Mm. And we'll see what happens. So that's it. That's my reaction to this episode. This is episode number 3 of the rising of the shield hero season 2 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching and i will see you guys uh next week with another episode of the rising of the shield hero until then goodbye and have a nice day